my fiancé caught by me talking to her ex-BF before our wedding one year of dating. A couple days ago I woke up in the middle of the night to a troubling text from our friend that we are in a group chat with. I then decided to wake my 22-year-old fiancé up and asked her to check her phone for to see her reaction. While half asleep looking over her shoulder she opened her text messages when I suddenly saw a new text from her ex-BF of 1.5 years which she broke up with to be with me. She very quickly locked her phone then I told her to give it to me and I asked if I just saw a text from her ex. She held her phone away and said it wasn't her ex. After getting upset she gave me her phone and it was indeed a text from her ex-BF. The texts were short showing obviously she had been deleting their conversations which she confessed to and him asking what happened why the FaceTime call dropped and her then laughing saying her phone died. She quickly deleted the text then I grabbed her phone back again going into her call history. I saw 24 hours ago while at work she had FaceTimed him for 6 minutes before her phone did die. Extremely upset I asked why she is FaceTiming her ex behind my back and trying to hide it. She said he reached out that night inviting to fly her out to go to a family member's funeral. She told me she declined, but seeing the conversation beforehand was deleted when he initially texted her before they FaceTimed I find that hard to believe fully. Why would she delete a simple conversation of him saying his family member died and then asking she wants to come out to attend the funeral and then her declining? Then after declining why did she go on break at work to FaceTime him until her phone died wouldn't her message already been sent to him as a simple no at that point, why FaceTime? Why would she hide all of this instead of telling me? She cried saying she had no feelings for him that it was a simple conversation over a family member she also loved. She said she hid it so I wouldn't get upset. But her hiding it has upset me. Her knowing that talking to him was disrespectful to me, but she did it anyways upsets me. Her deleting messages upsets me and plays doubts in my mind. Her FaceTiming him, which I find even more personal than a phone call, also disrespectful. Which she stated she just does to everyone that she FaceTimes me too. I asked how that's a valid comparison I'm her fiancé. She doesn't FaceTime her parents or friends. Maybe a few snaps, but no FaceTimes. She very quickly pleaded and blocked his contact then deleted his contact and also blocked him on all her social media which I didn't even know she was still friends with him on there until that moment. I asked if she had prior contact with him since the beginning of our relationship and apparently she has kept him in the loop of every step of our life and had been deleting conversations and possible other texts with him up until this point. She said it was like one text a month just telling him like oh we got a house, oh we got dogs, oh we're engaged now. This gives more concern because I'm also joining the Air Force and ship in Jan after our wedding. I'll be gone for nearly four months is she going to update him I'm out of the picture during that time and fly out to him. I tried to forgive her and give a second chance the past few days as this is her first fuck up. But any other past relationship I dump without questions ask because it's a big fuck up. It keeps playing in my mind the past few days and I look at her with disgust now. She cried tonight before work because the first time in our relationship I declined her having intimate with me. I simply didn't feel in the mood. Which she pointed out is a first. I'm supposed to be married in two months, but I feel nothing when looking at her. I have a couple weeks to return the rings, but do I give a second chance? Is it possible she was just talking about this dead relative of his? I'll never know for sure. Was she just overreacting and hiding it thinking I'd be upset? I'm very lost and confused. Am I overreacting? She said to try and build trust her phone is open 24-7 which is something we already agreed to when getting engaged. But how does this help when she did it at work and then deleted most of the proof with the same prior condition? What should I do or she do so I can regain this trust? Comment. When you have nothing to hide, you hide nothing. If she knew you would be upset if you saw the texts, why was she still in contact with him? She clearly still has some connection with him. She left him for you but then keeps talking to him. Is she naive? Doesn't she realize that this guy is thinking she wants him back on some level? I would think about calling it off. If she runs back to him, then you know. When you return, you can decide what to do long term. If you cannot trust her before the wedding, you cannot trust her after the wedding. People do not hide things that are innocent, only things they want to stay hidden. This was not one mess up. She has literally continued contact with him throughout your relationship. You will not ever know how many texts, FaceTimes, or conversations they have had. You will not ever know what they talked about or the extent of the deceit. You cannot expect the truth from a liar. You deserve more than this. Story 2. 
My boyfriend possibly cheated on me while I was 32 weeks pregnant. Did I get cheated on by my boyfriend of 3 years while 32 weeks pregnant? Using a throwaway account and changing a lot of details because of slight celeb involvement. I'll probably delete this because of how specific this is but honestly I just need to get this off my chest for now. This event happened a few months ago, key detail, night before Mother's Day, and I've since had the baby but I am still having serious trouble letting it go. When I was very pregnant my boyfriend's, let's call him Alex, cousin got the opportunity to be an opening act for a performer on one of their tour dates. This was a huge deal for their family and we all were planning on attending. As the night of the event got closer it was decided between me and Alex that I would stay home due to being super pregnant and I wasn't sure if I could keep up with everyone and I was super tired. Flash forward a few hours, Alex had messaged me pretty much the whole night to keep me in the loop and even sent me videos of the performances to make me feel included. As the big went on the text started to slow and I didn't worry because he was with his family and I didn't want to bother, I thought it would be good for him to go have fun before we had the baby. Then it ended up being midnight and he told me they were all going to go to an after party at a nightclub a few blocks away and I immediately had no problem with this but after an hour of no contact from him I started to panic, I'm not dumb I know what happens at nightclubs. I didn't blow up his phone I just took a shower and tried to fall asleep. He texts me at 2.30 am that they were stopping to get food and then coming home. He stumbled in around 3 am and immediately comes to give me a hug and tells me he never wants to go out again and that he threw up on the way home. I spent the rest of the night rubbing his back while he threw up every 30 minutes until 6 am on my first mother's day. I had a weird feeling while he was throwing up so I went to look at his phone and there was nothing suspicious so I thought to look in his deleted messages. I found an unsaved number with a message with an address to another club and telling this person he could get them in. As soon as he was coherent I calmly asked him about it and he immediately seemed dodgy and came up with the worst lie that it was one of his cousin's male friends but he didn't want me to get mad or suspicious so he deleted it. Obviously I didn't take it at face value and memorized the number and saved it to my contacts and then went to try to sell this person to find out their name and lo and behold it was a girl who was at the club they were at that night. I could basically do nothing about this information because I was trying to take care of him due to him being very sick and us having a Mother's Day event to go to with my very conservative family who would kill him if he showed up drunk and throwing up everywhere. When I say taking care of him I mean literally bathing him, cooking for him so he could eat something, going to the store to buy him Pedialyte and coffee, carrying him to my car, and driving him and I 120 miles to and from my family's house. I eventually asked about it and he said it was nothing she was just basically a groupie and asked where they were going next and due to exhaustion and annoyance I gave up and shrugged it off. Until a few days later when I got curious again and went into his phone again. I saw nothing except a conversation with his cousins. His performer cousin had a photographer who took pictures of the night and the cousin sent some to the group chat. To my surprise I see a picture of my boyfriend surrounded by beautiful girls dancing around him, one of them being the girl from the deleted messages. His cousins were joking about how incriminating the picture was and Alex even told them to make sure no one sees that. Basically all I got for my first Mother's Day was nothing but throw up and maybe cheated on. We've argued about this on and off since it happened and he tells me over and over that nothing happened but I have so much evidence pointing to the contrary. I don't even think I would do anything if he came clean I just want the truth. I became so obsessed with these girls because they look nothing like me and I am still adjusting to being in a new postpartum body and they're so beautiful. I basically check their social medias weekly. Edit, I also made him ask one of his cousins if he cheated on me that night and his cousin's immediate response was well what are the accusations specifically instead of straight up no. He eventually said something like well I didn't see anything but you having fun which I feel like points even further to the fact that he cheated. Anyways I just want to hear someone else's thoughts on this because I feel like I'm going crazy. Comment. He probably had the girls hanging all over him and dry humping him and stuff and he feels bad about it. That's why his cousins need to know exactly what it is you're accusing him of. If he actually fucked her or something they'd be all like no, definitely not. Do you have something other than one deleted text message about getting into another club that amounts to so much evidence? For me, it's the changing stories that would make me lose trust. First it's his cousin's male friend, then it's some random groupie. Both times he lied. He deleted the message, lied to you, clearly disrespected you, and is still lying to you otherwise his cousin wouldn't have practically dodged answering the question. Only you can decide what your boundaries are but, one thing we all have learned the hard way, is that no consequences for him and just rug sweeping this will only teach him he can easily get away with it. 
you were suspicious for a reason. Bottom line there is no reason for him to delete messages and to lie unless something happened that he wants to stay hidden. Is it possible that he feels like he has to walk on eggshells and cover his tracks because you are likely to get upset and go through his phone? Your obsession with these women is very unhealthy. I, woman, don't think he cheated. I think he went out, had too many drinks, talked to people, danced and got sick. What else is going on between you? Has he been distant, resentful about fatherhood, critical? Up, did you and he plan to have a baby and plan to build a life together? Did he clarify what he meant by other ways of satisfying himself right now and were you comfortable or uncomfortable with that conversation? What are his values about loyalty and monogamy? Yikes, this dude 25. Sounds like an idiot. Also, cousin is not stupid. It would be very out of character for him one minute saying, don't let anyone see those photos to then ask if he cheated on you. Come on, his cousin not that stupid, and figured it was you. Either went all the way or was just inappropriate. Stop asking people who have his back and ask the girl. You have her number, so call it. Tell her you are pregnant and your boyfriend hid that fact he met her and exchanged numbers and it's made you uneasy plus you saw pictures and he is not answering anything, say, being pregnant, I want to know now so I can make a choice for my baby and say you don't blame her, hold no ill will towards her, it's all him. See if she says they kissed or slept together or nothing. If they have then dumped him, he had his shot to tell you the truth. 